Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub. In this session we are going to create a simple Node.js Hello World Docker container from scratch. So without any further ado let's get started with the session. So here as you can see, I am on my desktop directory. Here first, I am going to create a Docker directory. And in this Docker directory, I am going to create another directory called example node. Now, let's open this directory in our code editor. So it is going to start the Visual Studio Code Editor. So here first I am going to create a simple Node.js Docker file. So let's create a file, Docker file, with no extension. Now here first I say, from, Node 14. It means, which image we want to start from, this will be our base image, in this case it will take the official Node.js image, based on Applin Linux, using Node 14. Now let's set our working directory which means all our commands will be run in this folder, until we change it again, that's a folder we know already exists in the node image. Now let's copy, and we copy the package.json, packagelock.json using the star means wildcard, and then app.js files that are present in the current folder, into the working directory. Then I am going to say, run, npm install, to install the package listed in the package.json file. Then let's expose, port 3000, to the outside. A container is 100% isolated from the network unless you expose one of its ports using the expose command. Then we run command, node, and then app.js, to start the app. Note that if we use single quotes instead of double quote in CMD line, then it will result in an error, so use double quote. Now I am going to create another file, called app.js where we will create a simple Node.js app. So here, first of all, I am going to create a variable, called express, which is the result of requiring, a module, or helper library in a node called express. And then, we're going to make an app variable, that sets the result of calling this express function that we just created by requiring the express module, which will have two more constant variables. Now we're going to use, an app function, to make a get endpoint. And then this has two parameters. The first one is a string, which divides where we want to expose the endpoint. So how about the slash the root of the project? And then we have a callback function, which is going to be in the arrow function format of JavaScript. So that's an opening pair of parentheses. And then an equal sign. Greater than sign which is an arrow function. Then within the parentheses, we can have two parameters, rec and res, which stand for request and response. And then our response, we can send back a string, that says, hello world. And with that, we're almost ready. Now we just have to make the server live. So we're going to say, listen, on our port 3000. And finally, it'll be nice to give a message to our user. So let's say, server ready. Super simple right? But now we have one dependency. We need to add it to the package.json file. So let's open our terminal. And here run the command, npm, init, minus y. Now run, npm, install, express. So as you can see, server ready. Now let's stop the process, and let's create a docker image from this. So here, I am going to build a docker image from this docker file. So docker, build, and I will give a tag example node and then a dot. So it will take a while to download the node image, and run the npm install. Then you will get a successful message. Now it's important to note that after you first download a base image like the node one we use here, that will be cached locally, so you don't need to download it again and the image building process will be much faster. So now we can run a container from the image. So I am going to say, docker run, minus d, minus p, 3000, colon 3000. Now let's assign a name, node app, example node. Okay done. So here, you can see, in our docker desktop, the image is running. And here, let's click on, open in browser button, to open the app running on port 3000. So we have successfully created a simple node.js container. I hope, you all guys are now clear with it. So guys, 
That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.